Chide, you run a successful company now. And Correct. by and large, it's a company which provides a service which has been popular. And you have a number of blue chip clients. And I wouldn't want anybody to look at this case and come away with the view that you are anything other than a company which, in the ordinary course, does what's promised. Correct. However, it's a very simple case. Because, James, you had a contract with G-Day. You didn't have a contract with a third party. That this third party didn't pay you, in a nutshell, is your fault and your problem. Regardless of the fact that you've got other issues with your business, you have to pay your subcontractors because you've got a contractual obligation with them. Now, James, had he not said to me today that he accepted that he owed you £3,500, you may have been in real difficulty because you also haven't behaved in the most commercially sensible way by not having a written contract. As a result of what he says, I have no difficulty at all coming to the finding that you're entitled to the full amount of your claim, which is for £3,500, especially given the amount of work you did. That being said, moving forward, if you're sensible about business, you get things down on paper. That's the award of this court, £3,500.